Okay, today I am starting on a Milky Way cup. It's going to be all purples and turquoise teals, and it's just going to get white for the topper. So these are all LMNOP glitters. I have grapes, which is a fine, sea foam, which is a chunky mix, amethyst, which is a fine, surfs up, that's a fine, Milky Way, that's a chunky mix, and let's get tropical, that's a chunky mix. So that is everything and I'm just going to get started. I already have my cup prepped. I'm using a 20 ounce skinny and I have a layer of epoxy on here already. So I'm just going to grab a cooler and jump in. I will try and get over the bottom somewhat but Honestly, I'm not going to make the bottom a super mega priority. And I'm not going to worry about trying and saving individual colors as I go. I will keep it as a mix though. And it will turn into a peekaboo or something at some point. And I don't really have any rhyme or reason to what order I'm applying these. I'm just getting them on there. I actually started one very similar to this for myself at one point, and it's uh, living in my closet of doom currently. I should really pull it out and finish it while I'm doing this one. Bring that light purple back in over here, I think. I'm kind of keeping tabs on the bottom. I mean, I'll I'll just plunk it in there if I have to, but if I don't have to, I'm not going to. I think this was the very first color again. typically tend to do a white or a chunky opal or something as one of my colors but in this case we're not going to do that it's going to be all color and I'm just going to come in with a tiny bit of this chunky purple to finish it off so I wish I had a um, purple that color just to fill the gaps, but I'm going to come in with whatever the darker of the two was. So well, that is it for a start. I'm going to let this dry, get a good coat of resin on it, and then I'll come in for the Milky Way layer, and I'll be back for that. Okay, so I am ready to do the white Milky Way over this. It is not completely smooth, and that is okay at this point. Um, I'm not worried about that. So I'm going to mix up my white before I put my base down. I'm going to use Frosty Pearl Mica from Woody's Goodies. And I just have a small cup of resin here. But I'm going to mix some white in. So... 
don't need a ton. And I'm also going to use my Illumilite White Opaque Resin Dye just to make it extra white. So I just want to get this mixed up first so I don't have to touch my containers with my glove once there's resin on it. So that'll give me a nice thick white. Okay, so first I'm going to apply a clear coat. And then I'm gonna put that white over top. And I'm doing a pretty good coat here. Just because I do still have some chunky sticking up in spots and I want the white to have room to move without having to force it to move too much. Because I don't want to put too much heat on this. So, there's that. I'm going to take this glove off. And I'm just going to pick some spaces to apply the white. I'm just kind of letting it spin organically for a minute just to see. Okay, and I'm just going to hit it with the torch quick in little bursts and see if that gives me enough movement. This has a little bit of a heavier Milky Way because this may end up with um, a couple tattoos on it. I don't think I mentioned that yet. So, and if it's going to end up with tattoos, I don't want to add a ton more other styles of white. So, I kind of like the way this is selling out in places. <clears throat> so I'm going to actually tip this at an angle and see if it'll kind of run back up at the angle of the swirls a little bit. So I'm just going to hold it here a minute. Kind of let some of that run off the top. And I feel like I have too much white in some spots, so I'm going to see if I can fix that. Um, I'm going to put a glove on, but I am just going to take a silicone brush and kind of push it off the top at that angle that I want it running in. I 
because there is always a fix. I'm almost going to relocate some of it too. I don't want a complete white band around the top. God, I love what the cells did there. So, and I'm just wiping this off on the glove on my other hand. kind of dragging them with the flow of the cup and I think that might be what I want I want some more in there so I'm actually gonna put some back gonna watch it come around one more time and make any other adjustments I feel like I need okay so it's gonna be a heavy Milky Way but again kind of I didn't put any light colors in the base like I normally would I would usually use a white or a silver or something, and in this case, I didn't do that. So, I'm just going to let it spin, let it dry, and take it from there. Okay, so this one that you've seen has a final clear coat on it already. This one you didn't see me make, um, but I made it the same as this, just different colored glitters. Um, but I'm going to finish this one up with a slightly different version of the white. So I'm still going to start with that same mica, the Frosty Pearl from Woody's Goodies. And instead of the dye, I'm just going to give it a few drops of um, Pinata White. If I can find it. It's hiding from me. It wasn't on its shelf. I'm just going to give it a couple drops of that. So I'm just going to mix it in. And again, I'm probably over mixing this, but it's okay. So, but you can see how that one dried. And I'm going to do the same thing, clear coat it first. This turner is very wobbly. It's a double turner, and I need to mount it to a piece of wood. And actually one of my wonderful viewers sent me a second one of these, which is great because I already have all the conversion parts to do a second one. So I have to get my conversion done and then I'm going to get them both mounted to wood at the same time. It just needs more weight on the back side because when I converted it, I made my arms longer. So, it puts more weight out this direction. So, that is why it is bouncing. I'm going to scoot it a little bit that way. I'm actually going to go ahead and take this glove off because I'm not going to touch the epoxy again. And I actually want 
them both turning the same direction. So I am just going to run my white again. Same thing. And no, I didn't stay on the same line that time. It's okay. I promise you, it's okay. I'm going for maybe a little less white this time. So. That's it, and that's all I'm going to put to start. I'm going to hit it with just the tiniest little bit of heat. Again, just with the torch, I'm not breaking out the heat gun. Just enough to hopefully move the white a little bit. Don't forget to hit the bottom just a touch. And I think I'm going to go ahead and drag some of this like I did the last one. Just a little bit. Not very much white on the bottom at all. So that's it. I'm just going to let this one spin out and these will be done for now because one of the two might be sold and I'm going to let them decide what they want for decal. So I'm going to bring you down and you can see both. So different, but the same, both gorgeous. And uh, that is it, thank you for watching.